<clears throat> okay hi everybody welcome back to radiant guardians please rock that like um subscribe and share for your gold really appreciate that also check out the description box down below um in the little square box thingy uh you'll find all the links to our telegram page to two meditations and to Ishmael Perez's website okay so um yeah really to ready to not really to but ready to get back into um you know making content and everything and uh yeah um so how you all doing guys I mean how you all doing how you how you doing really all right how are you guys doing i've actually really missed um making these videos and i expressed that in my um recent video sorry yeah um new zealand weather it's uh we're into our spring um which is the time of year that i really love um because winter and I don't get along and um, so spring is my most uh, favorable um, season <laughs> you know not too hot not too cold but just right <laughs> so anyway I've got an article that I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys and I found it most interesting and very very educational very um, enlightened very uh deep um very expressive right and um yeah uh as with a lot of articles that i have found and um amazing amazing articles that i do find and i love sharing these articles with you because um there's just so much information there's just so much uh that we don't know right and when we are open to learn and continue down a path of learning then um, that helps us uh, to evolve right to integrate to navigate and um, become the best version of ourselves that we can possibly become okay so um yeah so i've got an article and before i get into that article with you guys I just want to um, you know just let you guys know that this ascension path that we're on okay and although everything you know energy energy is connected right everything is connected we are all connected and even though we are all connected on this ascension journey and path it is our individual ascension like we are ascending this um, ascending right here okay elevating ascending that's what it is or that's what it means to ascend is it means to um, to elevate all right uh, increase our frequency energy vibration and ascend so as individuals we do that right we come right back in here because it's all inner work okay inner 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 work right here and um so like i was saying before even though energy is all connected you know we are all connected okay um but as individuals we're doing our own ascending all right we are ascending right here it is our journey it is our integration it is our development spiritual development okay and um it is wisdom and insight and the knowledge and information all right um also you know what i found most interesting too and what i have learned is that when you experience an awakening and everybody's going to even the normies and um, you know 
uh, experience awakening so the moment that you experience awakening or the moment that you're experiencing ascension right guess what happens guys and I've learnt so much over the period of time that I've had had a walk-in you know I've, I've experienced my walk-in I've experienced my ascension journey I've experienced my I've experienced a lot and learnt a lot and on my journey as an individual okay and learning more about myself learning more about uh, my past all right I'm so excited right now I just you can tell <laughs> in my face when I'm talking about this um, I'm just really excited but I am so excited about uh, everything that I've learned the the journey that I've been on um, the uh, evolving spiritually the um, learning truth right we, we come into an awakening we come into our truth um, and there's no going back guys absolutely no going back so once you awaken you cannot you know once you see the truth you cannot unsee it okay it's just that's just the way it is all right and so um, what I'm trying to get to here is that when you experience an awakening guys guess what happens when you experience awakening ascension you activate something happens in here right oh my god something happens in here your blueprints activate your light codes activate there's an activation going on in here in your dna all right it's just it just happens that way all right and so the activation that happens in here activates your mission woohoo go figure uh -huh. And um, I got really excited about this. I mean, it was shown to me like, I mean, oh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that when my guides, right, when they say, okay, well, it's time to show her that movie. Not, you know, catch my drift, guys, catch my drift. It's not a movie. But it's like, that's what they're saying. Okay, it's time to show her. And so when we experience that ascension, when we experience that awakening, we activate our DNA. We activate our light codes, our blueprints. The part of us that remembers our mission. Okay? <laughs> oh my God. I feel really hot. <laughs> no, I mean, I actually literally feel really hot right now because it's like talking about this is like, the excitement is just oh my god you guys okay I'm, I'm gonna take my cardigan off <laughs> oh my goodness all right bear with me guys while I do this because I'm getting really hot um, even just talking about it so <sighs> all right so yeah there's an activation that goes on and it is like um, you've activated your mission you've activated your mission guys all right the blueprints the imprints the light codes that get activated in here has activated your remembrance of your mission seriously seriously guys whatever it is Whatever it is that you're doing right now, and it's been, say, like, you've experienced your awakening, and it's been, like, maybe a year, five years, ten years, twenty years, whatever. Whatever it is that you're doing in your life right now, <laughs> those were the light codes, blueprints of your mission. You follow? Light codes, blueprints of your mission, and activation of your imprint. Woo! 
<laughs> oh my gosh. That is something to get excited about because I'll tell you what, I'm really excited about it. Hmm. Alright. So I did mention to you guys that I've got this article and I want to share that with you guys. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just elaborate on um, a lot of the journey that and path that I've been down and just wanted to share that with you guys and um, and like oh my god oh my god so a lot of us um, whatever it is that you're doing right now whatever whatever light work that you're doing whatever um, mission that you're doing right now that was already imprinted into your DNA and when you awakened, when you awakened and when you started to experience your ascension, it also is an activation of that imprint, of that, that DNA and that part of you to start your mission, okay? Um, yeah, I was going to go for a walk, but no, I don't think so. I don't like the cold and I don't like the wind and um, it has to be like, clear blue skies before I get out and go for a walk and things like that um, but yeah hugging trees uh, you know every time I pass a tree I cannot you know I can just not walk past it without hugging it and um, just connecting with nature because I tell you what it alchemizes all that energy that is built up in our bodies and we need to release it and the best way to release it, take off your shoes and walk bare feet on the ground and hug some trees along the way. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what else can I share with you? Um, I really enjoyed uh, the live with um, Debbie Solaris and uh, Ishmael Perez. So that was amazing. That was really awesome. Um, usually I will only take what resonates for me and I use my discernment so please guys <laughs> when you're watching my videos use your discernment use your you know be intuitive be an empath and uh, just take only what resonates for you and for your highest good okay and usually um, I always let you know that that is my number one rule so radiant says you know Use your intuition, okay? Only take what resonates for you and use your discernment, all right? When you are listening to other people's information, when you are taking in information, feel the vibration, all right? Feel the energy, feel the vibration. Read the energy, okay? Does it feel good? Okay, that's great. Does it feel a little bit off? All right, maybe you just got to discard some things. Okay, so, um, but yeah. So use, always use your discernment and only take what resonates for you. Take everything as a grain of salt. All right? Or a speck of dust. <laughs> or a tiny little rice. Okay, um, right, article. All right, here we go. I want to share this article with you and again only take what resonates for you discard anything that doesn't all right um but yeah please rock the like I would really appreciate that it really puts me out there so that others can find me on YouTube and also I would really appreciate it guys if you can share my videos far and wide um, that would be really awesome because there are people out there that are looking for someone that they connect with uh, that they resonate with on a uh, a certain level right and um, yeah my guide my team and the you know we are oh my god I tell you what hmm they've been so kind and i tell you what hey did you know that with your team of guides you know you can get them to go and do some work for you right if you've got some work that, that needs to happen 
um, let's just say you go into town right and you go into a certain store and every time you know you go to town kind of thing there's always um, you know there's never a car park okay you could never get a car space all right so you can actually set the intention you say to you guys hey look guys I'm going to so and so today can you please go ahead of me and get me a car space or car park and I'll tell you what it happens every time I give my guide something to do right they're on it they get me a car park the moment that I pull up to a store that I want to go to and I want to have quick access you know in and out um, the moment when I get there someone just pulls out right in front of me someone just pulls out and they're, they're off it's like they've um, had their moment there and you now they finish and I just pull in and I'm like I will say thank you to my guides I will say thank you guys for going ahead of me so yeah you can actually do that with your guides you can um, you can do that with your guides you can um, uh, get them give them tasks give them jobs right to do uh, what is the other one? Oh, I've given them lots. I've given them, I mean, I give them a ton of work. And it's really great because we're always, we're working together, you guys. All of us. We're all working together with our team of guides, alright? So, you, and you can actually ask them to lay hands on you, right? I mean, come on, guys. They do more than just guide you and um you know guide you to knowledge and wisdom insight and everything like that you can actually ask them to lay hands on you and pray for you absolutely you can do that all right and they do you feel their presence all around you they lay hands on you and they're praying they're praying along with you all right so you can do that oh my god that there's so much that your guides can do for you and they do everything, everything, all right? Okay, no, they don't tie up your shoelace or anything like that or brush your hair, okay? <laughs> or plait your hair or whatever, I mean, or paint your nails. It'd be good if they could. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, ask them anything. It's been so much fun with my team and i you know how you get an ancestor right you get an ancestor that um that is with you you, you either got your mum or your dad or somebody in your family that is part of your team of guides and that is watching over you looking up over you and and that is with you well i'll tell you what i don't have anyone like that i don't have an ancestor um my mum or dad or any of my family that have gone on before me watching over me. Do you know who I have? I have my counterpart protecting me. I have my counterpart uh, with me all the time. All right? All the time with my team of guides and my higher self. Me. I have me and my counterpart together guiding me and with me. And I'm like, oh my god, you know, that is so amazing, that is so cool. And um, I feel, I feel my, my higher self presence, my counterpart presence around me, with me, with my team of guides. And that is who is watching over me. It is me watching over me, and it is my counterpart protecting me. I know, blows me away too. <laughs> okay, delve into this um, article right here. Okay, so, biocentrism. How life and consciousness are the keys to understanding the nature of the universe has stirred up the internet because it is, because it contained a notion that life does not end when the body dies. And it can last forever. Alright, here we go. So, Lanza is an expert in regenerative medicine 
and scientific director of advanced cell technology company. Before he has been known for as extensive research which dealt with stem cells. He was also famous for several successful experiments on cloning. Endangered animal species. On before he has been known for his extensive research which dealt with stem cells. He was also famous for several successful experiments or experiments on cloning endangered animal species. But not so long ago, the scientist became involved with physics, quantum mechanics and astrophysics. This explosive measure or mixture has given birth to the new theory of biocentrism, which the professor has been preaching ever since. Biocentrism teaches that life and consciousness are fundamental to the universe. It is consciousness that creates the material universe, not the other way around. So Lanza points to the structure of the universe itself and that the laws, forces and constants of the universe appear to be fine-tuned for life, implying intelligence, and that the laws, forces, and constants of the universe appear to be fine-tuned for life, implying intelligence existed prior to matter. He also claims that space and time are not objects or things, but rather tools of our animal understanding. Lanza says that we carry space and time around with us, like turtles with shells, meaning that when the shell comes off, space and time, we still exist. The theory implies that death of consciousness simply does not exist. It only exists as a thought, because people identify themselves with their body. They believe that the body is going to perish sooner or later, thinking their consciousness will disappear too. If the body generates consciousness, then consciousness dies when the body dies. But if the body receives consciousness in the same way, that a cable box receives satellite signals, then of course consciousness does not end at the death of the physical vehicle. In fact, consciousness exists outside of constraints of time and space. It is able to be anywhere, in the human body and outside of it. In other words, it is non-local in the same sense that quantum objects are non-local. Lanza also believes that multiple universes can exist simultaneously. In one universe, the body can be dead, and in another, it continues to exist absorbing consciousness which migrated into this universe. This means that a dead person, while travelling through the same tunnels, ends up not in hell or in heaven, but in a similar world he or she once inhabited, but this time alive. And so on indefinitely. It's almost like a cosmic Russian doll afterlife effect. Right. So multiple worlds. This hope instilling but extremely controversial theory by Lancer has many unwitting or unwitting supporters. 
not just mere mortals who want to live forever, but also some well-known scientists. These are physicists. These are physicists and astrophysicists who tend to agree with existence of parallel worlds and who suggest the possibility of multiple universes or multi multiverse or multi universes a so called scientific concept which they defend. They believe that no physical laws exist which would prohibit the existence of parallel worlds. The first one was a science fiction writer, H.G. Wells, who proclaimed in 19, I'm sorry, 1895 in his story, The Door in the War. And after 62 years, this idea was developed by Dr. Hughes Everett and his graduate theosis at the Preston University. It basically posts that at any given moment, the universe divides into countless similar instances. And the next moment, these newborn universes split in a similar fashion. In some of these worlds, you may be present reading this article. In some of these worlds, you may be present reading these articles in one, one universe or watching TV in another. The triggering factor for these multiple worlds is our actions, explained Everett. If we make some choices, instantly one universe splits into two with different versions of outcomes. So in the 1980s, Andrea Lindt, scientist from Lebedin Institute of Physics, developed the theory of multiple universes. He is now a professor at Stanford University. Lynn explained, space consists of many inflating spheres, which give rise to similar spheres, and those in turn produce spheres in even greater numbers. And so onto infinite, um, hold on a second, space consists of many inflating spheres, which gives rise to similar spheres, and those in turn produce spheres in even greater numbers, and so on to infinity. In the universe, they are spread apart. They are not aware of each other's existence, but they represent parts of the same physical universe. The fact that our universe is not alone is supported by data received from Panic Space Telescope. Using the data, scientists have created the most accurate map of the microwave background, the so-called cosmic relic, background radiation, which has remained since the inception of our universe. They also found that the universe has a lot of dark recesses represented by some holes and extensive gaps. Theoretical physicist Laura uh, Mersini, Mersini Houston from the North Carolina University with her colleagues argue the anomalies of the microwave background exist due to the fact that our universe is influenced by other universes existing nearby. 
and holes and gaps are a direct result of attacks on us by neighbouring universes. Alright, now this is going to get really interesting. Let's read about the soul. So, there is an abundance of places or other universes where our soul could migrate after death. According to the theory of neo stentrism, sorry, but does the soul exist? Is there any scientific theory of consciousness that could accommodate such a claim? According to Dr. Stuart Hamoff, a near-death experience happens when the quantum information that inhabits the nervous system leaves the body and dissipates into the universe. Contrary to materialistic accounts of consciousness, Dr. Hamsoff offers an alternative explanation of consciousness that can perhaps appeal to both the rational scientific mind and personal intuitions. Consciousness resides, according to Stuart and British physics, uh, Sir Roger Penrose, and the micro turbulence, turbulence of the brain cells, which are the primary sites of quantum processing upon death. This information is released from your body, meaning that your consciousness goes with it. They have argued that our experience of consciousness is a result of quantum gravity effects in these micro turbulence, a theory which they dubbed or orchestrated objective reduction. So consciousness, or at least proto-consciousness, is theorized by them to be a fundamental property of the universe, present even at the first moment of the universe during the Big Bang. And one such scheme, proto-conscious experience, is a basic property of physical reality accessible to a quantum process associated with brain activity. And so our souls are in fact constructed from the very fabric of the universe and may have existed since the beginning of time. So if that is the case, then we're pretty old, old, very, very old souls. Our brains are just receive, receivers and amplifiers for the proto-consciousness that is interesting intrinsic to the fabric of space and time. So, is there really a part of your consciousness that is non-material and will live on after the death of your physical body? Well, Dr. Hamorf told the science channels through the wormhole documentary, let's say the heart stops beating, the blood stops flowing, the micro tubulus lose their quantum state. The quantum information within the micro tubulus is not destroyed. It can't be destroyed. It just distributes and dissipates to the universe at large. Robert Lanza would add would add here that not only does it exist in the universe. It exists, perhaps, in another universe. Mm, parallel worlds, right? If the patient is resuscitated, revived, this quantum information can go back into the micro microtubulus and the patient says, I had a near-death experience. He adds, if they are not revived, and the patient dies, it's possible 
that this quantum information can exist outside the body, perhaps indefinitely, as a soul. So this account of quantum consciousness explains things like near-death experiences, astral projection, an out-of-body experience, and even reincarnation without needing to appeal to religious ideology. The energy of your consciousness potentially gets recycled back into a different body at some point, and in the meantime, it exists outside of the physical body, on some other level of reality, and possibly in another universe. So how about that, you guys? Amazing. Isn't that amazing? I really enjoyed learning and reading about that. Okay. Yeah, so that is um, all that I got in this article that I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope that that was really, that you found that really interesting. But, you know what, I tell you what, also, you know, do some deep dive research, okay? Um, look into it for yourselves and um, learn as much as you can from that. That was amazing. That was an amazing article. Yeah. I just talked to you guys about my life and uh, how things are going. And, um, yep, still a lot to learn. Still a lot to learn. And also, you know what, I tell you what, I keep saying this, you guys, you know, always come back with them, all right, do that inner work, keep going, keep going, guys, I mean, I, I just certainly keep going, I, I mean, I just soldier on, power on, and keep going, onward bound, all right, and I encourage you guys, really encourage you guys, keep going within, keep staying in here, all right, this is your home, your temple, um, your place where, you know, security it is your security guys it really is so you just go right back in here and stay here and just do all that inner work it is a continuous work i know it is i mean um house cleaning is you guys house cleaning is a continuous work and that you just keep going and you keep um you know, you do all your house cleaning and you just keep on going. <laughs> Alright? So it's a continuous work and I mean it's like getting up in the morning, you make you know, you make your breakfast, you make your lunch, you um for work, you know, if you need lunch for work, you make your lunch, um you do your house cleaning right, um, uh, make your bed, you gotta you gotta it's just ongoing so you just keep going but in many cases you know come right back in here okay do all your inner work if there are things that still need to be purged purge it if there are things that still need to be cleared out like shut itself deal with it if there are you know you need to change something in your diet because uh, something's happening with your body and your body's not in agreement with whatever it is that you're eating change it all right change it out i do it all the time i do it all the time i might have um it's kind of funny i really listen to my body right whatever my body needs whatever it wants i listen to my body if it's craving a certain food uh, as long as it's a healthy one i go and purchase it and get it all right and and it comes a time when my body says okay i've had enough of that so i was like okay fine all right <laughs> and um that's how i listen to my body that's how i know that if there's a type of if there's something in my diet that what my body is like had enough of then i will just take it out of my diet and be done with it simple easy it's so easy and so yeah so listen to your body whatever your body needs listen to your body all right if it wants a certain food give it that certain food okay don't deprive your body be kind to your body be kind to yourself all right 
as long as you don't overindulge whatever it might be all right so yeah um uh, and i like to have potato chips sometimes i do because my body you know it craves a certain type of food and it gets a bit of salt in it so it might want a bit of salt and uh i'll, I'll get a packet of potato chips but i won't indulge and i won't live off it absolutely not because once my body says okay thank you for that i've had enough of it i'm like okay cool we're happy all right let's keep going <laughs> let's find something more healthy more more you know a better choice all right but be kind to yourself be kind to your body and listen to your body and remember stay here stay right here all right this is your place of security place of safety and uh, keep going within all right it's everything everything has to do with inner work guys all right that's enough from me i love you guys and thank you for being with me thank you for always continuing uh to support me and thank you for sharing my videos far and wide um please rock that like and i appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches so thank you so much thank you and i'll see you on the next video all right um um oh one more thing before i go uh before i go um you know as i always say only take what resonates for you and use your discernment all right if every video that you watch use your discernment only take what resonates for you and read the energy feel the energy of the information does it does the energy feel right it must be good is it feeling off all right discard some information but yeah use your own discernment intuition uh whatever resonates for you all right and um yeah you'll never go wrong okay guys all right i love you i thank you i appreciate you so please rock that like i appreciate all the subscribers everybody who shares and everybody who watches i love you have an awesome awesome weekend see you on the next video all right guys bye bye